Thank you. Thank you very much, Al. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lee Kreitz, Lee Kreitz is back and this is going to be an interesting video for you but it's not going to take very long so let's get into it and see you uh, on the next episode as well let's get into it you're about to find out how to fit a Ducati Monster 1100 Evo what a mouthful Ducati Monster 1100 Evo super naked uh heat shield yeah that's going to be interesting. Let's get into it. <laughs> it's showtime. Okay, guys, so we are going to very, very carefully remove the uh, two Allen security bolts that are holding this heat shield in place for the uh, Ducati. And be very careful because I've got a red, I've got the lovely Ducati red painted frame. I've got an engine cover over here and an engine casing, plastics, swing arm. What I don't want to do is slip my socket and for the ratchet to knock or bang into any parts of the Ducati because Imagine chipping uh, just just alone the red frame here. Oh, the it will cost a lot of money and will be a lot of hassle to fix that. Don't create problems for yourself. So here we go. Oh, that's coming out quite nicely. That is. <laughs> the socket here but there's actually some sort of soft rubber washer that sits on the top of the heat shield but now we've got a bottom washer that must sit behind the heat shield to stop the pla stop the heat shield getting scratched maybe always keep your bolts together eat it right do you know that oh vibration dampening so Ducati did that actually all down to vibration dampening, which is quite interesting. I'm actually going to move on to a screwdriver uh, tool where I can fit my socket into. I'm just going to very, very carefully pull the socket out. Ah, see, that's how it comes together. Oh, I've also noticed Loctite. So Ducati are definitely using Loctite from the factory for the heat shield bolts. And that is our original piece. It actually is metal as well. It isn't plastic. This is, this is full on metal that has a painted surface, front and back. Nice. fitting we need to keep in mind that Ducati 
used Loctite on the bolts. So we are going to do the same. This is Loctite 270, high strength, brilliant Loctite, very, very nice. I'm going to use that on the bolt. How much Loctite do you even use? Well, the good news is that you don't have to use too much. You just need about a drop on the threads, like so. And then as you're tightening the screw into the Ducati, is this Loctite is going to move with the threads and it will cover all of the thread. And you're good. Is, is it's not too difficult only two bolts to get out of the way two fixings and then you'll be able to then fit the gorgeous sensual carbon fiber onto the monster 1100 evo and that's the thing any on an exhaust system glossy carbon fiber because it is a it's a manacle it's a representation of the engine the shine that that it is the heart that you are emphasizing this is the heart of the motorcycle super naked super bike sport tourer but for anything else if you can help it mud guards not mud guards you know the um rear hugger chain guard tank if it has the tank has any plastic bits you can fit carbon fiber to keep that matte but if it's just the exhaust system always glossy carbon fiber because that is how the classy people do it that's how the proper people do it yeah Lucrides hopes you found that quite interesting and really useful. And Lucrides, on this occasion, still has this decay cut, but it is kind of fitting for this video. Thanks for watching. Ow! Get Lucrides a copy job! Damn it! <laughs> you bastard! Thanks for watching. The way we. The little rascal has to do it. That's what? This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. Nope. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah.